try to see if I can get it to turn. Now this is the issue I'm having. So like I said, I was going to see, I was hoping maybe the starter, and you can see how I'm going to do it. I'll hold the switch here. Now I got a hole. Now you see it turning? Just try and turn. I'm a blower. <laughs> This is a lovable gift. So, uh, we've got a John Deere uh, riding lawnmower we have to work on today. It's a D100. Uh, issue we got, other than having a low tires, and been a little on the dirty side. As you notice, some of them are flat. So, but the real issue we've got to work on is we're trying to figure out why it won't crank up. So of course, actually we know the battery's totally dead. You know, so we're going to try to hook her up and drop her off. And then turn around. Uh, it won't quite go over the hill. So I'm hoping I don't have to adjust any valves. But we'll see. Of course, naturally you got a spark plug right here. It seems to be missing a boot. And then you got a starter. Evidently, I believe it's maybe the culprit, but I don't know. I mean, it's a little hard to say. I did try to tighten that wire up right here. Uh, sometimes it gets a little loose. So what I did was I tightened this up and the back screw and then tighten it all up. Then I made sure these were tightened up and everything. So everything's good to go. And of course, like I said, the battery's bad, so it just needs a new battery. Like I said, of course, it's like, you know, the battery's totally dead. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this off. And I bought a starter, ordered it from uh, Walmart, and it came in a all tore up looking in a tore up box. Uh, evidently and they did ship it like uh, almost six days ahead so it did come early but the box was in a bag and it was all squished up and everything and out in a, in a bag and everything and the little I guess what they call moisture balls were all broken inside the bag hopefully they didn't drop this too many times and damaged it so I guess we're going to find out, but it was all ripped apart, the box and everything. And uh, right now, I don't think I can jump it with this, you know, so I can try to hook it up. But I think I'm going to have to hook up a, um, try to hook me up a, a car to it. try it that way, but we'll see. I think it's a, what we were trying to do. Trying to get the start. I don't think it'll work out too well. Yeah. We shall see. It says it's a little low, evidently. Let's see what it does. Oh, I did see the headlights cut on. So we'll cut the headlights on. Okay, it's not turning it over at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off. Unhook it. And put some jumper cables to it. And try it another way. So hopefully, during the meantime, of course, we can get this where we can get, pop up the tires what's juice left in here or I'm gonna to have to charge it up or do whatever I got to do on it but the problem I'm gonna have is trying to hold the camera which I don't think will work very well what I'm trying to do this it helps if you got somebody to hold your camera for you or you got a nice setup one day I'll be able to afford to get me a nice camera setup I'm gonna go with it 
tub. But in the meantime, we'll see what we can do. See if I can pause this until I get this set up, okay? Alright, I think we got a, something temporarily set up for right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get my jump cables out. So I'm pick it up. And we're gonna see what we can do with it. Time you kind of work like jumping off of a vehicle or a lawnmower. Make sure you've got yourself some nice long thick cables. Come to handy when you need them. In just case you have to reach far away. You, know, you never can tell. I always remember when you jump off of a dead battery, put that bad boy up here on the ground, ground her out right there, and then you can hook the other side to your uh, cable. Most cables. I tell you where how to pick it up. You know, it's, uh, it's not that difficult to figure out. You know. suck a lot of juice out of my car so it does come in handy to crank your vehicle up when you do this that way it won't cause any issues so you're gonna hear a little bit of noise for a minute until we figure out if it'll crank up You're going to be able to see how it does when I try to turn it over. Now, I'm still trying to debate on what's wrong with it, so don't get me wrong. You know, I'm just trying to diagnose the issues. And uh, as I can figure out, I figure I'm going to start to keep this out. You know, I'm supposed to buy filters and oil. And I got my starter first, so uh, uh, I'll do the rest later. And right now, I figure I'll do a video on putting the starter on. Because one way or the other, I'm putting the new starter on. So, who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and it'll solve the problem. And it's not doing nothing. It's not even attempting to turn it over. Oh, hang on, my bad. Wake up. Okay. I saw a spark. It looked like it was coming from the wrong spot. Try 
one turn. That's the way to go. But I gotta hold the uh, switch all the way. Keep it there. Just try to see if I can get it to turn. Now this is the issue I'm having. So like I said, I was gonna see, I was hoping maybe the starter. And you can see how I'm gonna do it. I'll hold the switch here. Now I got a hole. Now you see it turning? Just try and turn. And, it, and see how it doesn't act like it don't want to go over the hill? Or what they call over the hill. I don't know. See, I mean, is that over the hill when it when it finally spins? Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause this for a minute. We're going to take it off of that. Uh, now what I do, and evidently I'm using this app, and it's killing my phone, so let's try to see if I can shut this down, or a part of it, without messing up the video. I'm going to cut the camera off. Alright, right. now what I did was I moved the shield off, okay, you can see what the starter is, and everything. Oh, it's hooked in there. A couple of bolts I got to take loose. And uh, now, when I took it off of there, it seemed like it um, it helped out. So what I'm going to do. So I'm going to climb back up here and do the same thing I showed you a few minutes ago. The problem is I need to shield out of the way without knocking all the hoses and stuff loose. So let's see if I can get slick. There we go. I think we got it. I'm going to turn it over. And you notice it seems like it turns a little bit better without the shield on it. Yep. See how quickly it will pop? Again, so I can hit the ship again. All right, here we go. Now, see how it's doing? I'm holding it all the way. That's how it just finally kicked in. I released the ignition switch. Now, I'm gonna hold the ignition switch. Now, when I do this. The starter, of course, naturally gets really hot. So, I mean, work. I don't know. But that's what we're going to work on. We're going to replace it and see if we can get it. Okay? I, I sort of took the cheaper route. I'm worried about me tampering with the valves. I've never done that job before. So, if it comes down to it, I will do this job. And go in there and see what I got to do. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and replace this, and then I'm going to see if I can pause the camera. The camera might die on me, so I may have to just shut it down and do another video on this. Uh, I may do that. Uh, meantime, I'm going to shut this off, let the battery build up a little bit on some juice, and I'll be right back with you. Signing out. I got everything hooked up and we're back again so uh, this level gifts and as I said I was trying to put a new starter on uh, on uh, John Deere D100 and I got the starter on there's a few little things you need to know about though uh, when you try to use if you try to use spark plugs or I mean spark plugs okay if you try to use your wrench you know it appears this one okay you're not going to be able to get in here to the other one, okay? So you can't get in here. Um, you know, I had to use one of these going in this way. And that was the only way I could get to it. Now, the other issue you have too, which is extremely hard to see, but right inside there is a wire. And it's hooked into the bolt. And there's a little clamp too that goes up top. And right there but that clamp helps hold the wire in 
and that wire leads to here. So that's where the wire leads to. Or I know, I mean, that could even be the issue. But I'm assuming this is like a, I don't know, if you ask me, it looks like a brain box. Uh, like a lot of what it used to be in the old cars, you know. That's what it looks similar like, but it's, um, I mean, I have to look it up. Right now, I'm not sure on this. So, the issue I have with the starter, though, now, I got it on. Everything's hooked up. But one of the issues I have, and I don't, it's probably hard to see, but if you look at the teeth, now, if you look real close at the teeth, you'll see the teeth are sort of low. It barely touches, and that worries me a little bit. Yeah. All right, I think we're back. My recorder's messing up. Now, as you can see, it barely touches the other teeth. Now, I'm trying to push this up. Um, I try to push it up and try to get the teeth in there to sip it up, but it seems to want to dip back down again. So, I hope they gave me the right starter because they do have another starter that looks similar. So, that does not mean they gave me the right one. Also, this starter has a black thing on top. May not be nothing, but this one, the old one, of course, you can see how it looks. You know, so, also, it seems to be That goes up ex extremely easily. And the other one doesn't. And also turns. Let's see how this one. See what I'm saying? Nice and tight. But before my phone dies on me, what we're going to do is we're going to hook back up the battery. Hopefully, I'll let you keep myself. And I think I got this all rigged up where it's not going to hit nothing. I'm hoping. Now, there's a hose here. It looks almost like an air hose. So I'm hoping I don't have to have it attached. And maybe it'll crank without it. But we'll see. And we'll get it a shot. So hopefully, what I'm trying to do is go without having to get inside the motor and adjust the valves. I may not succeed at this, but I can hope maybe I can succeed at this. So here we go. I'm going to just try to crank her and give her a shot. Hopefully I don't have to hold her down like I did before on the ignition key. Alright. It's stubborn again. All right. Now remember the teeth didn't touch right uh, the barely was touching. So, let's take a look at that. So she looks a little better. Yes. Now she's all fitting up in there. Nice and tight. Now, since we got that, I'm going to... Alright, I think I'm back again. My phone's trying to die or something. i got too many things going at one time. Alright, we're going to try it again. i turn the thought off a little more. can do from here is I can try to pause this and see if I can put this back on here make sure the hoses and everything hooked up and see if that uh, do any good so I can twitch her back and forth just see if my switch is not don't want to do is keep on I'm gonna mess up this new start so I'm not gonna keep doing this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on the pauser and hook the other hose up see if that might help any
I'ma blow up. Yeah.